What is up, it's your boy John Ashree Vive, BB Pro Mr. Tell Like It Is. Welcome back to another episode of Chain With Me. Today I'm bringing to you four of my favorite bicep workouts. Now these are my favorite. This is from my exercise selection, what I find is the best for me. So I'm not gonna say these are the best ones you should do, these are the best ones you should ever do. I'm saying these are the ones that I would like to do, that I've been doing consistently, that have helped me achieve my arms. Now again, a lot of me is very, 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 very genetic. I've had arms since I was a little kid and I've always had good arms. And also don't train them as much either, but when I do, these are the ones that I use and that I think that you guys would enjoy too. So, gonna give you guys tips and cues on how to do it, how I perform it, how to make it optimal for you. And maybe you guys wanna put it into your workout. Let's go. All right, so first we got easy bar curls. For me, I like doing easy bar curls because I have, I used to have wrist issues, but for most of the part, people have mobility issues in their wrists or in their wrists, their hands, or just from supinating or external rotation. So for me, doing easy bar curls is a lot easier on your joints, right? No pun intended. So um, for me, I like to grab inside most of the time. Now again, we're using the, the rackable easy bar from Bells of Steel, which is pretty dope. I like to grab this like in a biochromal position, we talked about this before, biochromal being like basically like almost like shoulder width apart, basically like a good alignment from here to here to be able to grab and we're inside here. Good thing about this is it has a really good grip on the inside. You can go the outside if your shoulders are wider, then yeah, for sure, go on the outside a little more, right? But again, you can give yourself a little bit of that, a little bit more activation from here and making sure that we're gripping the bar from here. We don't wanna pull like this or like this straight down and pull from here. I'm already engaged. Now pulling off, lock back. Now again, from here, I'm always trying to push myself into the floor. Almost like if you look at the top of a deadlift. A little bit of protraction push from here so we're engaged and we're pulling. We want those elbows to stay in front of our body so we get the most of that movement, right? We don't want to have our arms coming back here because then you're just basically doing a drag curl. So from here, love doing this. Can keep myself up. Chest up, roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. Big chest, arms forward a slight bit so we can activate and then right away, curling. Ooh, 10 reps. Woo! Whoa, guys, check it out. A lot of you guys are watching this video but not subscribed, so make sure you guys hit the subscribe button. Also hit the notification button as well. So next time I put a video, you'll be the first ones to get it. Also, hopefully by now you guys like the video and if you do, hit the like button as well. Back to the show. So cues to make sure that we're pushing away, pushing our body away, basically put hands down. That's gonna keep my shoulder from pulling like this to the top, which you see most of the time. And I'm really engaging the core. And to keep my torso from rocking and doing this, I'm really pulling from my core. So I'm pulling each rep. As soon as I pull, I'm pulling and I'm pushing into my core. I'm not trying to suck it in. I'm Pushing up and pushing through here. Now for the next exercise. Okay, so next up we have spider curls. Do them on the chest support here on the bench. I know some gyms have um, an actual, you know, almost like the preacher bench or I don't know, accessory, either way. I do like doing it on a bench. I like keeping things consistent. So when I position myself with this, I position myself the same way I would as if I was doing chest supported rows. So it keeps everything basically consistent. So when I'm on here, I like to be, again, when in terms of like where my hand should be and when I'm doing the actual rep, if I was going to do a row, like I said before, doing a row, doing a, you know, a reverse fly, I like to keep my hands exactly where they naturally fall parallel right here. So when I go for a fly, I'm right here. Or if I'm doing a row, I'm coming from here and this goes right back. So if I'm gonna do a bicep curl, this being a spider curl, I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm still gonna protract a bit. I'm not, I'm not necessarily laying my arm out like this and pushing from here. I saw a comment before about explaining this and I wasn't necessarily doing this. It's not what I'm doing. Protraction is basically like being active in this position where I can pull. And then we're gonna have a little slight, slight amount of shoulder extension, right? Pulling from the lats a bit and pushing. So we're flat from here, so when we pull, we keep those elbows in a line so we're avoiding this type of thing happening and that's usually what happens. If we're really trying to focus on really getting this muscle activated in the hardest part of the lift, 
this way is optimal. Yes, if I move my rep back here, I can do a lot more reps and had more of a load, but I wanna make this harder and then time strengths in a sense, I can get more done here than back here. I don't have to load as much because from here, I definitely have to work that much better on activating in form. Or here I can cheat a little bit and just pull from here and you're getting a lot of your lats activated as well too. Anyway, so from here, when I do this as well too, from doing, from, when I'm doing easy bar curl, I like using the easy bar as well too. Again, same, same reason being, I like having a little bit of freedom with my wrists here, not being so supinated. I like to grab the inside. So I'm gonna do my regular easy bar curl from here. When I do this, I'm gonna grab from the inside. I like that because I like being a little bit closer here. It gives me a lot more activation and control. Being in this position, being a little closer. Again, things closer together are gonna be that much easier in a sense. So from here, my wrists are pointing the same way. They're not curl like this. They're here and down. The weight is right in my palm, my hands. Push from here. Again, a little protraction and shoulder pressure from here. And then we're pulling. And I wanna make sure that at the front of this bench where you see the front of the wheels, the bar is gonna to continue to stay in that position every rep. So when I pull up, it's going down and staying right there. I don't wanna start floating back here as the rep goes. So my rep wants to go, should go like this. But to make it harder, we want to stay here. If it gets harder, so like if you want to even use this, at the end of the set, it's like I can't do anymore, pull it back and then do your rep here. We can kind of gas out some more reps because I have a little help from the lats pulling this as well too. But again, use the marker of your bench here to keep you consistent with your range of motion. And then when it gets harder or you can't get the full range amount of range, from here, pull it back a bit and finish. Hey guys, just for you to know, a lot of things we'll talk about, I actually break down even further in my free training series that you can find in the description below. I go over the most common mistakes that people are doing today, right now, in the gym. So guys, hit the description below and get part of that free training series. Now back to the show. All right, next is my first unilateral movement because I like to do these unilaterally, basically saying fancy for saying one arm at a time, hammer curls. So there's a way I like to do them. A lot of ways you can do them. Um, you can do them obviously bilateral, which is at the same time. You can do them seated, whatever. I like doing them standing. Again, I can feel the ground a little more. I just like that. You can do it seated as you want to as well too. But the way I do them, you kind of need to be standing because I like to come slightly across the body, not fully across, because you can do them this way. I've seen people doing this way before. There's nothing wrong with doing that at all. There, the only difference is, is how many more extra the chest is working to kind of bring the arm over when you're doing this. And then you can kind of, the further out you go, the harder that's gonna be. My hands are so dry. It's man hands. Anyway, so you can do them all out as well too, like very like, you know, perpendicular to your body, have nine degrees here and like this. But for this case, I like to bring them a little bit across the body. Again, what I want to do is I want to hit, I want to kill two birds with one stone. So for this one, instead of doing like most of the time, if you're trying to hit the brachioradialis, is basically this muscle right here, the, the your forearm, you know, in this position, you want to look like really nice. If you're doing like, you know, you know, whatever pose you're sitting here, this chunk here is used when we are in this position that much more. I like doing them this way, not this way, because I don't really get as much control over it. I kind of feel like I'm always using my thumb when I'm trying to pull things up this way. There's other ways you can do it, but for me, again, exercise selection for me is basically finding the movements that I enjoy the most, that give me the most benefit as terms, in terms of activation. So anyway, so having a neutral position or a hammer fist, we're gonna come across the body. Now from here, we do want, again, that whole roll your shoulders back and away from your ears. So we wanna be like this position, right? So my arms are fixed from here. I don't wanna be super like this, but again, just rolling your shoulders back and away, not retracting, back and away. Just doing that from here. Now, when I'm doing the movement, I want to push to the floor still. So I want to create some of that shoulder extension, right? Or again, shoulder depression. So when I pull the weight up, we don't have this type of thing happen where our traps are getting engaged or we're getting an interior rotation of the delt. So from here, we want to push 
to the floor, a little bit of the protraction from here, and then almost pulling yourself into your side so we can pull the weight up. We want to keep our arms still in that fixed position so our elbows aren't going back. And we're going to pull across the body from here, right? Just from here and across. Not totally across from here. We're going to be a little bit just like this. And then the other side, same thing. So we're really working this part of the form as well as the rest of the bicep. So doing this from here with weight, pushing down with shoulders back and away from here and then pulling up and back down. I like doing them one at a time. So if you have like one muscle group that's, or one side that's you know, worse than the other, do the side that's not that good first, do the rep range you can do, and then match it with the other arm. And again, when you're pulling, you don't see me, I'm not twisting this way, I'm not pulling it back, I'm consistently keeping that angle pushed down from here, so when I pull, I'm pulling right from that muscle, you can see it targeting right there. From the other side, same thing, this arm is tired, push this one down here, and then same idea, coming right across and out. So right across, making sure my elbow doesn't start popping backwards. You want to keep it engaged from here. Your chest is going to be activated a slight bit to actually keep your arm adducted in. And up. Okay, last but not least, this is my specialty. Um, I don't really know what it's called, but I decided to call them goblet squat preacher curls because you're in a goblet squat position and you're basically a preacher curl with the cable. So we're gonna call this cable goblet squat preacher curls. Whatever, just this is, if you guys know the name, figure it out, help me out here, send it to me. But a good benefit of this is if you're in a gym that's crowded and you can't get a preacher machine, you use your body to create one yourself. So. Hey guys, check it out. A lot of what I've talked about right now, I go over in depth with my clients and my athletes on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis. We go over film study to make sure they're doing the form properly. So if you wanna get involved, guys, hit the description below. Also, grab an ebook, a lot of information there, as well as this video. Back to the show. Basically, come to the cable machine, get your, set your cable up at the bottom from here. We're gonna grab this thing like this. We're still gonna pull very like hammer, to almost supinate when we're pulling this. I'm gonna set ourselves back a little bit. I'm gonna mark here. And I'm literally going to do a goblet squat to the bottom. Now from this, I want to keep myself in a optimal position. Again, I don't want my back hunched like this. So to get this thing activated right away, I need to be in a good position here. Now I can sit here all day because the weight's actually kind of balancing me and I feel really good. So if you guys wanna do a good stretch like this, to help you out with your mobility and being like in a squat position, this is really good. Now from here as well, I'm not gonna let my knees kind of like this, I'm going to keep them externally rotated out so they're in line with my toes. So when I do this pull now, my elbows are gonna sit at the top of my knees, straight from here, and then activate, I'm gonna pull up. And I'm gonna wanna pull almost like myself to the weight to keep my back straight. I don't want it to pull me forward, I want myself to stay in this position the entire time while I pull. And as the weight gets harder, you can almost lean back a little bit. But again, we're sitting the straight back and pulling just like a preacher curl. Okay, guys, there you have it. Those are my four favorite bicep exercises to do. Again, those aren't the best ones to do. Those are the ones I've picked Exercise selection is gonna be very beneficial for you reaching your goals. So find movements that you can do that you enjoy, that you can do really good form with, and just exhaust the shit out of them, man. That's exactly what I do. You don't need to be fancy with anything. Find the ones that you like, stick to those, master those, and keep progressing and moving on. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know, I'm gonna come with that tell like it is transparent, vulnerable truth. If you wanna know what coaching guys, book yourself a consult, 15 to 30 minutes. At the end of the consult, I did the consult off any package that you pick. Also, guys, hit the description below for all those discount codes and promo codes that help save your life or change your life for the better. Also, guys, add me on Instagram and TikTok. Send me your progress pics, your training pics, and your video clips, and I'll repost it for you because you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron. Progressive overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.